The Deutsche Bank Research Department thinks the Brexit will eventually speed up the introduction of helicopter money. And one never knows, Deutsche Bank thinks that maybe a new UK government um, may be forced to spend more and we'll see the UK as an early adopter of this concept of um, helicopter money. The Bank of America Merrill Lynch analysts add that yield curves in the US Treasuries should generally flatten as immediate uh, yields run out of room and the 30-year is the most attractive point for global investors. Indeed, you get like uh, two and a half percent still for uh, the 30-year duration, which is uh, kind of like uh, quite decent, especially when you add the specter of a continued bull market in the US dollar to this equation. While research departments of those banks call for more central bank intervention, the banking stocks themselves dropped sharply yesterday. The total combined market cap of all European stocks has fallen to a record low. In, the, in yesterday's trading. The story has been told by European officials over and over again that after a strict regulation of the banking sector, after the Lehman crisis, chances are very low that the next crisis will have its origins in the banking sector again. But when you look at, um, when you take a look at the share prices of those companies, then you find uh, out and you might come to a very different conclusion. Some share prices dropped by a third compared to before. The referendum, those of Barclays and Royal Bank of Scotland have given up half their value. Given that, the fact, given that and the fact that the UK government did still not officially hand over the formal exit request to Brussels leaves markets in some sort of stalemate. The real economy could very well be hurt by this um, back and forth action between London and Brussels and so investors decide to flee all risk assets and go to safe haven investments. This is not the kind of, in, of environment the greatest cash stacks of investment funds since the year 2001 are likely to return to the markets again. It might even be the case that funds have not yet finished selling uh, of all risk assets just because as the famous saying goes, if in doubt, stay out. Analysts from JP Morgan say European investment banking stocks are to be avoided considering current general inability to assess short-term counterparty liquidity and market gapping risk, but also structural uncertainty such as the risk of the EU passporting, which uh, would lead to net additional staff and costs for investment banks. Yeah, a market volatility, it is still high and it can be expected to be so in the coming days. A sign that's, that things are getting really serious is when central bankers start withdrawing from central bank gatherings, something Mark uh, Carney, uh, the governor of the Bank of England, now Janet Yellen, the president of the Federal Reserve, have done, in this case, pulling out of the ECB forum on central banking that started yesterday and lasts through Wednesday. So maybe... The Chinese are right. Their um, Premier Li warns that a disillusioned Britain butterf British butterfly has flapped its wings and this could affect the global economic recovery and financial market stability. This in turn affects the real economy, which has already been weak before the current market turmoil. So the valuation multiples go down in equity markets with growth prospects which means that nothing else that there can be a further correction in equity prices um, and that might be quite likely.